that's part of the community also. Yeah, true. Yeah, but he, he, he said, well, yeah, no, 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 very true. He, he did get off at that stop though. And, yeah. uh, and so it was a short conversation, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't wearing a tie with a double Windsor knot, was he? <laughs> I, you know, did not notice. I, mean, I know that guy. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I actually knew, uh, one time I was riding a bus when I was going to open for Haunted Summer at the Echoplex, my first time doing it. And I was kind of worked up and I'm riding from, uh, the four from, uh, uh, last bookstore uh, heading up to the Echoplex or the 704 and uh, there's this homeless guy wearing a suit actually uh, and and uh, he's wearing like it's like a, a red suit with a green shirt and a Hawaiian tie with a big pineapple on it <laughs> and he has like a dangly gold watch and he has like a jet black dyed hair like shoe polish and a kind of the mustache like the the perfect you know, Rectangle. symmetrical, yeah, yeah. mustache, uh, also died the same way. And he's kind of standing and clapping his hands. And the second I sit down, he goes, so as I was saying, and he's this <laughs> homeless guy talking to the bus driver about how he's the best panhandler at Bunker Hill because <laughs> he approaches the attorneys and the bankers like he's an equal because uh, he wears a suit. And he only asks for hundred dollar bills or fifty dollar bills, That's and amazing. that works. And it gradually Includes? goes down to twenty. He explains oh. the whole process: hundreds, fifties, twenties, and that's all he asks for. And that's why he makes more than all the homeless people in uh, in uh, uh, Bunker Hill. And and then we get to the bus stops, and he kind of step back and just kind of clap his hands with the nervous energy. And then the, they'd sit down and go. So as I was saying, and that's and the awesome. bus driver just kind of keep nodding, and you know, and I'm getting caught up in the story. I'm mm-hmm. supposed to be thinking about my my sex. I'm going to be doing like 20 minutes of stories before a band. I'm really excited for it, and but I'm just I'm following this story. And he's talking about how the other panhandlers are lazy and they can go for change in the gutter. Um, he tried to, out of professional pride, teach the other guys <laughs> his approach, and finally he just challenged them to this bet. And you know, and he said I could stop any. Uh, person on the street uh, and have them walk to the corner and back using my method and they'll make at least $20 and he challenged like maybe the 30 bucks he had in his pocket versus their collective $4 and it's this big intricate story and I'm just totally following into it and uh, and then uh, we passed the uh, Alvarado and it's like and I, I have to get off the bus otherwise I'm not going to make it to my show and they he's stopped a lawyer who's agreed to do it. And he says, you know, because lawyers will do anything. And, uh, and the, the lawyer agrees to do this uh, to prove the point, to see if it will work. But I had to get off the bus. And, uh, and I go to uh, the, the Echoplex, and I have the show, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about this guy in the green suit with <laughs> doing the whole clapping hands and this strategy of, like, just the 150-20, because it makes sense. I've worked sales a lot, and that's a common approach. You know, start high, work your way down. And if it works, I have a suit, and I could totally do that because I do, you know, I fly around the streets. I'm very comfortable, but I'll do it only if it works. So I get on the bus – uh, to go home, like maybe, you know, end of the night, like one, two in the morning, uh, to continue on towards uh, Miracle Mile, it's the same bus driver, again, because you often see these people right. uh, over the course of the night. So I'm like, oh, awesome. Now I'll know how the story ended. And so uh, I'm like, hey, um, I was on this bus uh, a little bit earlier, uh, eight o'clock, uh, got on, you know, told him where and when I go, there was a man who was wearing a uh, red suit, green shirt, Hawaiian tie with a pineapple and a hula dancer, had gold bracelets, would kind of clap his hands back and forth. And he's the best panhandler in Bunker Hill. And he challenged the other uh, panhandlers to this bet. And, you know, the lawyer said, you know, if he could go to the corner and back, you know, make twenty dollars, uh, he would win all this. Uh I had to get off the bus. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, you know the guy, right? You were nodding your head. Uh, he goes, uh, oh, I'd, I'd like to help you, boss, but you got to be more specific than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Um, That's awesome. Well, th- th- we got to wrap it up in a couple minutes. I don't know if either of you guys has a, like, a two-minute story. That might yeah, be I have a two-minute story. Awesome, okay. Yeah, since we just talked about... Like, She's the queen of two-minute stories. Hey, right? hey all yes, right. Since we just talked about that smells on the bus, I, right? I bet none Wonderful. of you ever traveled with horse manure on the bus. <laughs> uh, uh, you know... I'm you know, aware of. Yeah, you know Griffith Park, right? And mm-hmm. you know this little pony ride? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, there is a bus stop right next to it, and once this little Armenian...
Indian lady stands next to me with a huge bucket full of uh, horse shit, <laughs> and it's barely covered up with a newspaper. And they say, "Lady, why are you doing this?" And I said, "At least cover it up, because we're getting on the bus." She's like, "Oh, they let me in the park to pick it up, and I use it to uh, for my tomatoes. My tomatoes on my balcony grow like crazy when I put horse manure in the soil." And I'm like, "Oh, this is the worst story ever." <laughs> so we get on the bus. And it's just usual people, and also this guy you know, in a suit with a tie, and he's like, is it what I think it is? So he keeps staring, and the smell is not very nice. <laughs> so he's kind of not so happy, right? Now, so, and the lady can see that he's not happy, and she tells me, interpret to him, because I only speak Russian, not English, tell him that I use it for my tomatoes, and they grow like crazy. Uh, so I explain it to him, and he's like, no, this is not acceptable. So he dials a number on his phone, it's his mom, and he says, mom, for fuck's sake, why did you tell me to try the bus? You can't believe this, but there is this lady on the bus, and she actually ca- transports horse shit in a huge bucket. And he's all excited about it. He's like, this is awful. I'm never traveling by bus again. That was like the worst advice ever. And the lady asks me, what is he saying? What is he saying? As a good interpreter, I'm like, I'm not going to tell her the truth. I want uh-huh. her to feel comfortable on this ride. So I interpreted back to her. He is telling his mom that actually, mom, you also grow tomatoes. Do you know that you can use horse shit? <laughs> yeah, to make that, to put that, yeah, to put it in the soil and make your tomatoes grow better. And the lady likes, yeah, lady's like, oh yeah, cool. I'm glad I was able to give good advice. <laughs> so apparently, the uh, the uh, what was in the bucket wasn't the only horse shit on the uh, uh, on the bus. Hey. But by the way, I, I want to say, you know how like, uh, and it doesn't work on all the buses, but. Uh, a lot of the stops it announces, you know, yeah. coming up. Yeah. That is my favorite sounding uh, bus stop. Is yeah. next stop Griffith Park and Pony Rides. <laughs> <laughs> it just it sounds so Pony. cheerful oh, the way yes. they recorded Pony Rides. <laughs> Katya is a great bus ambassador. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, we, both of you are. We want to thank you for coming out today. Um, where can people find out uh, more? Is there like an overall website for you on Busted and then for your blog? Yes, we have bustedlosangeles.com, and uh, we're also on iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, and uh, uh, Google Play for it's Busted Los Angeles, and our YouTube channel is uh, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Busted Los Angeles, where we have over 100 videos from our Dronebox show. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my blog is actually a group on Facebook. I did it on purpose because I wanted other people to contribute stories, which they do. So, yeah, it's a group on Facebook called Tales from the Bus. You can visit and comment and like and contribute your story or post pictures or videos. Great. Okay. And, right. and we have two live shows coming up uh, March 21st in Pasadena at the Battery Books and uh, Records. Uh, which Carl will actually be telling a story yeah. at. And uh, that's going to be Wednesday, March 21st at 8 p.m. And also on Sunday, uh, March 25th at 5 p.m. at our home terminal uh, in Echo Park, Stories, Books, and Cafe. Uh, we'll be on the back patio, and that's our fourth anniversary show. we got musical guest Avid Dancer uh, is going to do a set afterwards. And uh, – Got some uh, really great storytellers that are going to be there. Oh, and Katya's going to be at the Pasadena show, too. Uh, and she'd be at the anniversary show, but you're going to be in Boston? I'll be in Boston hey. for anniversary yeah, show. My hometown. Yay. Yeah. Cool. Yay. Awesome. All right. Well, until next time, I'm Carl Kozlowski. Kevin Corcoran. And Dr. David Robinson. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye.